Oh, salary? Listen, I don't think you should listen to anybody when they're telling you how much you can earn with this certification versus that certification because guess what? It all boils down to should you get your CompTIA Network Plus certification or should you get your CCNA certification? Now, full disclosure, I'm currently working on getting my CCNA and there's a little backstory to how I started studying for CCNA despite not really having any plans to do so or not so quickly or early in my IT, uh, my IT journey. I was sitting in class and I had just passed my CompTIA A plus certification exams on my first try. Yes, I'm bragging. I keep bragging about this because this is a huge accomplishment for me, being a fresher in the IT industry, even though I have some experience playing around with my network and other tech stuff. This was the first official credential that people recognize and it's somewhat sought after. So I was, I was kind of hyped. I told him I'm done with the A plus and he said, what's next? And I said, network plus. And he said, oh, you should get the CCNA. I said, why? And he's just like, yeah, well, network plus is, you know, it's a lot of fundamental basic stuff and da 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 da. And I believe I had told him that I have some experience setting up my home network and, you know, being his student, of course, he knew that I had good solid grasp on networking concepts. So like a good professor should, directed me to a more suitable path, albeit more difficult, <laughs> right? But that may not be the case for you. And if you're a newbie or a fresher when it comes to networking, you should, if you're, if you're a newbie, period, you should be starting with A+. And if you're less than a newbie, you should be starting with the CompTIA ITF. So I'm not beating up on one certification or the other. I think each of these certifications come together to form a big picture, right? If you're a newbie in networking fundamentals, if you don't know what a router is, if you don't know what a switch is, if you don't know what a VLAN is, if you don't know what an ethernet cable is and the various ethernet cables, you should probably start off with Network Plus. Network Plus is a vendor agnostic certification and it teaches you the broad spectrum of networking fundamentals. This is great for people who are new to the networking field because you get a nice solid foundation for what is networking, network structures, network devices, network concepts. You also learn subnetting, which you learn in the CCNA as well, but it's vendor agnostic and it's a good credential to start off with. If you obviously have some sort of networking background and you set up your own network or you set up networks at work and you're really good with networks and you have a good solid grasp, get your CCNA. Now, I heard that the CCNA is more competitive than the Network Plus when you're comparing them side by side, right? When you're comparing a person that got the CCNA and a person that got the Network Plus, an employer is more than likely to choose the CCNA because the CCNA covers the fundamentals, the theory, as well as the practical application of networking concepts. This is why I got my equipment back here because I really like the hands-on practical aspect of studying and learning networking concepts. And again it makes me a little bit more competitive than a person that has mainly theory and cisco is a world-renowned company right it holds above 50 percent of market share and that's a lot right i heard that cisco is the backbone of the internet or something like something something like that if you go ahead and put the time in to studying ccna at least that's what my professor told me then you'll have your pick of whoever you want to work for right because these employers are expecting you to know networking fundamentals and beyond if you went through the trouble <laughs> of learning how to configure all of this shit, right <laughs> excuse my language and um i'm a little bit biased towards ccna if you want to be a network engineer you should become a ccna what does ccna stand for i'm all over the place with this video CCNA stands for Cisco Certified Network Associate. I know I'm not, I'm not as organized as all you other IT YouTubers, but hey, look, I'm doing the best I can. And I'm a little biased, you know, I'm studying CCNA and you know, I, I was considering doing Network Plus. Like as you can see, let me show you the books. I got both books. I got this book first 
And then my professor convinced me to do CCNA, and now I'm doing CCNA, right? That was volume two. This is volume one. It's a little bit thicker. I'm halfway through this book. I, I'm, look, I'm passionate about CCNA. What's the other point I wanted to cover? Oh, salary? Listen, I don't think you should listen to anybody when they're telling you how much you can earn with this certification versus that certification, because guess what? It all boils down to your skill set and your negotiation skills, right? If you don't have any skills and you just have the piece of paper, you're not gonna be able to leverage anything and you're gonna get whatever the, the typical starting salary is or maybe below that for whatever position you're a candidate for, right? So I'll tell you this, don't listen to people when they tell you, oh, if, if you get your CCNA, you'll make $100,000 a year. Okay, so you can get your CCNA, become paper certified, go into the interview, don't really know what you're doing as far as configuring these things because you practice on packet trace the whole time and how how much leverage can you get out of that right so i think that when it comes to salary it's it's subjective it's personal and it depends on your background to me that's common sense right anybody that's been on a job interview and had gotten an offer and you know anybody that know how the market works in general you know that someone can't tell you, oh, if you go ahead and get the CCNA or if you get this credential, you're guaranteed to make da da da. I will say that skilling up and learning how to configure things and set things up will definitely move you into a different tax bracket within at least the first three to five years of you being serious about this IT stuff. It all boils down to how well you can leverage your skills. Look at it this way, employers, they dare to negotiate and they're gonna give you the lowest amount of money or try to give you the lowest amount of money that they possibly can. And it's also gonna be based off of how aware of the skills you have because I don't think any employer is paying what people are actually worth. And if they did that, they wouldn't make any money. But that's just my perspective on it. And that's kind of like what I see when I was watching some of these um, IT YouTubers talk about the salary component of certifications. It's just kind of like, I don't know, man, how do you really know those salary? I mean, you could Google it, but everybody's situation is different. That's all I really have to say about that. Um, Network Plus for newbies, CCNA for people who have a little bit more experience and you know a little bit more background and more dense certification if you will it's all up to you but anyway that's all i have for now if you want to see more videos similar to this one click over my shoulder and i'll talk to you guys next time